Hey everybody, how's it going? Thanks for coming. Uh, so I'm here to talk about my project where I made a virtual reality model of the permafrost tunnel. Uh, basically, it's just, what I was asking was a simple question. You know, how do we grant more access to the permafrost tunnel? It's a super limited access facility. A lot of my friends haven't been to it. Like even friends within the uh, geoscience department haven't been to it. Uh, so. The question I was asking, well, you know, how do we get more people to see the tunnel and get more people to learn about permafrost and like, and the ice ice structures that are within the permafrost tunnel? So I ended up writing a proposal and submitting it to Hot Times and Cold Places, and they hired me to create this model. They're an outreach group that uh, sends permafrost supplement teaching kits to rural villages in Alaska to try to educate a broader community about permafrost and permafrost uh, processes, structures, etc. So. We used, uh, to create the model, we used a GoPro Fusion, and I took about 800 photos in order to kind of get a full comprehensive coverage of the, of the tunnel itself. Um, creating the model took a lot of time. We used a laptop to create, uh, we used a laptop to run Agisoft and Unity. So and w while we were um, creating the model within Agisoft, and we went through multiple, multiple iterations just trying to like make it as high resolution as we could and as detailed as we could while still having it run smoothly on other still having it run smoothly on other programs and uh, keeping the size down. So it was a, it was a kind of like a min-max kind of challenge that we had to deal with. Um, eventually, however, uh, after putting the model that we created in Agisoft into the Unity game engine, we managed to create a virtual reality model uh, game kind of experience of the permafrost tunnel. So when it's completely finished, we're still in the like late development stages, but when it's completely finished, it will be available on uh, the Google Play Store for Android phones, the iOS App Store for uh, iPhones, and it will also be available on the Steam Store for those of you who are lucky enough to have a nice computer or a laptop. And, uh, the ability to uh, and, and and a VR headset, which uh, can be quite cost prohibitive, which is why we wanted to put it on the phones. Anyway, our our goal was to have this be kind of something that would have an impact on students and help them learn about uh, Arctic climate and permafrost. And I believe that we accomplished that fairly well. Thank you. Any questions? What, what kind of, say, say this is available for kind of basic devices. Um, what kind of laptop or computer would you need to run this? Anything special or, or your basic home computer? Do you need a graphics card, things like that? Yeah, so what kind of hardware do you need to run it? Um, basically, when it's, when it's ready to be on phones, you'll need a fairly modern smartphone. I believe we're trying to get it to run on iPhone 6s and up. And then from there, uh, on PCs, you would need a fairly decent laptop. You definitely need an HDMI port because uh, VR headsets, I'll take HDMI ports, or I'll have, have to plug into HDMI ports. And then uh, you would need a fairly beefy graphics card, probably about a, a NVIDIA GTX 1040 or equivalent, um, and probably at least eight gigabytes of RAM. I think that would probably be probably be about the base, but since it's not completely finished yet, we don't know what the lower limit of our of the uh, processing power is. Uh, we'll be able to figure that out once it's completely done. But uh, as of right now, I'd say that's my best guess. Thank you. Do we have time for one more question? All right. Cool. Thank you.